Hi everyone, welcome to this brief tutorial on round robin CPU scheduling. What is CPU scheduling? CPU scheduling is the method by which threads, processes, or data flows are given access to system resources. What do you need to know about round robin scheduling? Round robin is one of the preemptive algorithms employed by process and network schedulers in computing. As the term is generally used, time slices are assigned to each process in equal portions and in circular order, handling all processes without priority. Round robin scheduling is simple, easy to implement, and starvation free. Time quantum. A time quantum is the amount of time shared given to each process, interrupting the job if it is not completed by then. Request queue. A request queue is the order by which processes arrive and are handled. In this example, there are five processes that need to be handled and the time quantum given is three seconds. Let's get started. When we have processes arriving, we have to put it in the request queue according to their corresponding arrival time. First, the process P1 arrives in the CPU and is first to be put on the request queue. So we execute P1 from 0 to 3 seconds because the time quantum is 3, even though the burst time is 5. So the remaining time left for P1 will be 2 seconds now. So within 3 seconds, P2 and P3 has arrived in the CPU, so we put P2 and P3 in the request queue. But since P1 has not been completed fully and still has some remaining burst time left, we have to queue P1 again and execute it another time. Next in queue is P2. So we execute P2 for 3 seconds, so it's from 3 to 6. And now the remaining time left for P2 is 0, so the process is completed and does not go back on queue. So within 6 seconds, we have P4 and P5 arriving in the CPU. So we put P4 and P5 in the request queue. Next in queue is P3. So we execute P3 from 6 to 9 seconds, which leaves P3 with the remaining time left of 3. Since P3 has not been completed fully, we put it back in queue to execute it another time. Next in queue is P1, so we execute it again, this time for only 2 seconds to finish its remaining time left, so that's from 9 to 11, completing the process P1. Next, we have P4 in queue, so we execute it for only 1 second because P4 only has a burst time of 1, so process P4 is from 11 to 12 and is already completed. Up next in the queue is P5, so we execute P5 for 3 seconds, which is from 12 to 15. This leaves P5 with a remaining burst time of 1, so it goes back on queue to be executed another time. Next in queue, we come back to P3 and execute it again for 3 seconds, so that's from 15 to 18. Since P3 only has 3 seconds burst time remaining, the process is now completed. Finally, next in queue is P5 with the remaining burst time of 1 second. So we execute P5 for 1 second only, which is from 18 to 19. And there we have an example of the round robin scheduling algorithm.